Hey YouTube, welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. I am so excited. I finally did my first Halloween look. Finally, you guys. It was supposed to be posted on the first. I'm a little behind schedule with family and kids and dog, of course. So I do apologize because I was supposed to have it on the 1st of October up and I don't have it, you guys. But I hope that this makes up for it. The look is so cute. A lot of people did like it. I hope you guys like it. If you do like, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys here on our next video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So here we have the tips that we'll be using, C-curve tips. They're extra long. We're gonna go ahead and use some of that mesh tape. We have all our little ingredients here, you guys. So let's get started. So I already cut up my little mesh foil I tried to cut it as perfect as I could to the to the nail so that it fits the nail because remember if it sticks out then it just gives us a really really hard time I have these colors that I'll be using and we're gonna go ahead and use the black one I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try their acrylics. See how well this is gonna work. So far good. I'm still dealing with my brush. Um, sometimes the product tends to stick on my brush. I'm still working on it. Um, I have now like four brushes and I'm still using the one I shouldn't be using, but you guys know I love my brush. So we're gonna get started with this design. This is the idea I kinda had to do. And I hope you guys like it. I'm kinda like taking my time um, because I don't know which way this is gonna go, you guys, but as you guys can see, we're gonna use two of these little, looks like little skull heads. I'm gonna put like two of them here. Make the look look really cute. I wanted these nails to look like that gothic look. I didn't want it to look too spooky. I wanted more like of the nails to look cute than spooky, if that makes any sense, you guys. I'm going to use a little bit of the glitter.
So on this now, as you guys can see, I'm trying to put a little glitter and then I'm going to try to put some black. Um, I don't know how this will turn out, but I'm going to sure give it a try. So we'll see how it turns out. I really do like the way this nail's turning out. It's looking really, really cute, you guys. Can't wait for the end results. So as you guys can see on this finger, I am definitely struggling with uh, encapsulating it. Um, I didn't do the greatest on putting the mesh foil, which is why it's so important to cut it like the best to the fit of the nail that you can do. Um, but it just goes to show you that I am definitely not there with my little art skills um you know no one's perfect we're gonna definitely um try to cut little corners and then this is what happens <laughs> so i'm gonna try to fix this big mess i definitely feel like there's gonna be a lot of filing so i will put some of the filing on the video and most of it will be off camera so that the video does not become a long long video so I'm gonna do that off camera I'm gonna use some of my beetles here I'm gonna try to do this like an ombre so I'm definitely gonna give it a little bit of that nude color liven up the black so that it looks gothic but a little life to it if that makes any sense so I definitely struggled with this set because I was just going with the flow. I was just feeling whatever it was I was feeling at the moment to make this video. Um, I like to inspire myself, uh, talk myself into making a beautiful set. And I also, I'm on Pinterest, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and I definitely look at a lot of videos to get my inspiration and come up with some looks that I feel that would look cute. And I definitely am feeling this one, the vibe. I wanted it to be like a gothic Halloween-ish look, but at the same time, I wanted it to look bling bling, cute, um, not too spooky. So I really do hope you guys um, like the outcome of this video. So we will see uh, what the um, end results and product will look like. As Mimi would say, the end, the 
Oh my goodness, what does she say? I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> it's late at night and I'm trying to record. Um, and this is the end product. No, not end product, silly. Um, this is our final product. I think that's what she says. Okay, guys, so don't forget I'm a little bubbly. I forget things sometimes, but that's what I have so far. Okay, so as Mimi would say, this is the finished product. <laughs> I remembered towards the end, of course. But yes, definitely I can't wait to see what the finished product's gonna look like. I'm really excited about this look. Um, and like I said, I am going just with the flow of what I'm feeling. And this is kind of like what I was feeling at the moment. So right here, as you guys can see, once again, my brush decided to start acting up on me. And of course, so I used the scissors to try to take off some of that um, product that, the, you know, it didn't absorb the monomer. Um, but that's okay. I'm going to still finish up my design. Um, and like I said, yep, my brush started acting up again. And I'm just going to have to file down and um, I'm going to use maybe some of my rhinestones to deal with that little situation of some of the white spots that I'm going to see here. So here I'm pulling out the other brush that I'm using and um, I think I know what the problem was. I wasn't using enough monomer. And that's what I'm thinking the issue is. Besides, obviously, you have to clean your brushes out. Really, really important that we clean our brushes out. Don't be lazy like me. I used um, acetone for about 5 to 10 minutes. I let them soak and then I clean them out and put them away. So that definitely really, really helps. And obviously, that advice I'm taking from the nail, nail educator, which is Susie. She has her YouTube channel, um, and she says she's been doing it for 30 years, cleaning her brushes out with acetone. So if she it works for her, then it's got to work for my brushes too. So I'm going to keep doing that. Um, the weather was a little dry as well, so that has a lot to do with everything, with the monomer, with the acrylic and all.
So on this one, as you guys can see, we did some glitter and here we go onto our rhinestones. So let's get started on that. These are all the rhinestones we'll be using, the Kira Sky. I have all these rhinestones. I don't know which ones I'm going to use, but as you guys can see, there we go. So on this one, I decided to do it black and I think I'm going to go, I'm going to make it a matte color. Okay, so on this finger, as you guys can see, we're really trying to bling this finger out. Um, as you guys can see, there is some little bit of those white spots, but no big deal. For me, it's not a big deal because I'm going to go ahead and cover it with the rhinestones, so it's not going to be an issue. But you guys saw how my brush started acting up on me, so that's what happened to me with um, the acrylic. But like I said, no big deal. We're going to cover it up with the rhinestone. So it's I'm just going to be a little more careful the next time that I try to do a different look. So I think what I'm going to do different is I'm going to use one of the brushes specifically just for the acrylic for the color. And then I'll have a different brush. I'm going to try out uh, the other brush for just the uh, clear acrylic. So that's just something that we're going to try next time, see if it works. And that way, if you guys ever run into this problem that I'm having, um, you guys will know what to do. And we'll put it to test, see if it's going to work. Definitely. I do apologize to everyone. I was supposed to have a video up on the 1st of October. Um, it didn't work out like that for me. I have been super, super busy, you guys, um, with life, family, of course, um, the kids, everybody. I guess everybody's getting sick. There's a bug going around. Luckily, thank God, I haven't gotten sick yet. And I am hoping I don't get sick because... I have to take care of everyone, including the dog that I love so much, my German Shepherd. So, um, I hope I don't get sick, you guys. So, I'm going to continue on with my videos. Um, this is something that I love to do, and I really do enjoy this. So, I've been going around in circles, um, you know, kids getting sick, um, and obviously dealing with everyday chores and life cooking and all but I promise I am going to um, 
put as much time as I can to my videos to bring them to you guys so you guys can get inspired with new ideas. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys like this. It looks looking super cute. This one's going to be matte. I love the ring that my husband got me. It goes perfect with this look. Um, and you guys, don't forget, if you guys enjoy my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And definitely, I will bring you as much as I can of videos. So, so far, this look is looking super, super cute. Um, at the end of the video, like always, I will have some extra footage or extra pictures for you guys to look at. This definitely was a lot of fun. Um, I definitely was running out of a lot of products, so I already ordered some stuff, but this is the final product. Look at how beautiful. I love it. I hope you guys like it. And yes, one of my nails was a little crooked. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you on our next adventure, you guys.